I am going to show you how to jump higher and how to get more explosiveness out of the first and second serves. The movement of heel and toe, as well as the ankle flexion, has a lot of implication on the serving motion. Most coaches and players don't understand the importance of these two elements that are crucial to increase angular momentum during the loading phase. When the player is serving, he needs to push off the ground really hard out of the ball of the feet. This motion adds a lot of torque and bending, and it is more productive when the player goes heel to toe for the simple reason that the motion will allow the player to lower the center of gravity more efficiently. A strong ankle flexion will help extend the legs fully during the jump. These and many other athletes need to create forward energy towards the target. These athletes attack the ground with the lead heel, making contact with the ground first. The energy created from the forward movement transitions into the ground and back into the lower legs and hips. The energy is stored through the leg and then released as the body extends upwards towards the target. The tennis serve operates the same way. As the server rocks back to load, the front heel should come off the ground. The front ankle torques independently of the hip and knee torques. That front ankle motivates the shift of the body forward. As the player transfers the energy from the back to the front, the heel rolls forward, driving the accumulated energy back into the glutes and hips. It is proven that the player is starting with the leading foot, having the heel up, as the player transfers the power of the torque from the back leg to the leading foot, this motion allows for better bending of the legs on the forward part, providing better balance and enhancing proportion, giving the player more servant velocity. By the player going heel to toe, enables the front foot to establish good balance, stabilizing the pelvis and allowing the hips and shoulders to open towards the target on the forward motion. In other words, it allows the separation of the hips and shoulders as the server goes up for the ball. As the motion goes from heel to toe, the player will get into a trophy position, pulling the back hip forward, multiplying the force of the shoulder rotation. Using the mechanical advantages of the heel to toe will help create additional forces that will increase the movement from a trophy position to a sudden explosive jump upwards and forward. During this stage of the serve, the player has to put the emphasis on the ankle flexion. This will help increase the jump and also will help absorb and control the landing. The motion of the ankle flexing provides the server with a smooth and powerful transition for the upper body to continue to build energy and rotate into the final release of that power into the ball. Keeping the leading foot planted or having a weak ankle flexing does not help in the angular acceleration to affect the transferring of the weight forward and to efficiently affect the jump upright. These type of drills help the players to understand how to transfer the weight of the body from the back foot to the front. Having the heel up as the player transfers the power of the torque from the back leg to the leading foot, this motion allows for better bending of the legs on the forward part, making it easier to get to the trophy position. The second drill is for ankle flexion. Here the player starts with feet together and concentrating on the ankle flexion, going up on the tiptoes. This will activate the calves, hamstrings and glutes, helping increase the jump. The third drill 
the legs are apart, toes pointing out, the player flexes down and then explodes from the ankles, activating the glutes and legs. <laughs>